the times they are changing. We are here to stand in solidarity with our fellow students at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas, who as survivors of such a terrible tragedy have transformed their grief into action and set an example for future leaders all around the world. I applaud their efforts to be the change to be the change that they wish to see in the world, and I hope that the deaths of their peers will not be in vain. Moreover, we want to stand in unity with the communities of minority students who are disproportionately affected by our gun epidemic, and to remind everybody here that tragedies don't always show up on the news, they don't always get a hashtag, and they certainly don't always get a march, but nonetheless, we must recognize their significance and stand with all victims of gun violence. And the task ahead is daunting. The enormity of the task we face may even at times feel unachievable. But in moments of uncertainty, it is important to remember how much of the impossible we have already achieved. There were times in this country when it was perfectly legal to own slaves, when women were denied the vote when identifying as LGBTQ was a crime, and when on American soil, Native American and Japanese internment camps were supported by the majority of public and the law. These atrocities did not dissipate simply because time passed. It took the dedicated work of average people listening to their consciences and taking action against what was so clearly an injustice. Come gather round people wherever you roam And admit that the waters around you have grown and accept it that soon you'll be drenched to the bone If your time to you is worth saving Then you better start swimming or you'll sink like a stone All the times they are changing To prophesize with your pen Keep your eyes open wide The chance won't come again And don't speak too soon For the wheel's still in spin And there's no telling who That it's naming For the loser will now Be later to win Oh, the times they are changing Everybody here should feel hope for the future when you look at my classmates because we have the endurance to stay informed and to stay outraged. We are endlessly proud to stand in solidarity with the kids from Parkland and we are going to make sure that the next generation of voters does not have to know what a school shooter drill is. I think it's important to end with the sentiment of Emma Gonzalez, and that's the right to own a gun does not outweigh a student's right to live. Thank you. And right about now, I think of the dreams of the children. Children who were taken too soon. These children were the ones who were bound to cure cancer, land on Mars, and find sustainable ways for us to continue living our dreams. And unfortunately, those dreams will never be realized. I think about the dreams of my peers. They envision a world where school doesn't feel like prison, and prison doesn't feel like hell. They see a world where love is love is love. 
They believe in freedom and equality and justice in the way that adults have forgotten. We are all standing here today as proof that these dreams are not lost. We stand here today as an unforgettable force of hope and love and light, and we will not be silenced. We are calling on the adults who run this country of ours to wake up. Children are being slaughtered in schoolhouses. Children are being slaughtered in schoolhouses. This is not normal and this is not inevitable. We, the children of the United States of America, demand a change in action. As Americans, we've always prided ourselves for doing what is right and leading the world in the fight for what is morally and ethic, um, ethically correct, especially when lives are at stake. However, when it comes to the topic of gun violence, we seem to do a lot of arguing, but not taking any action. See, we have this trend going on in our country where after every single mass shooting, we argue about it and politicians are asked these tough questions, followed by their false promises, and the far left and the far right are butting heads and arguing about this and that and here and there, that we forget that the original topic was not even about guns to begin with. It's about the protection of American lives. But we're so fed up about arguing and making this so political and making the national atmosphere so hostile that we fail to realize that this is not a political issue it's an american issue but eventually all that arguing it dies down after a few weeks or so and then we simply wait we wait for the next school or concert or church shooting to happen so we can start all over again without arguing. And this has been going on for over 20 years now, but not anymore. A gun has 26 working parts. The length of the barrel, the speed of the bullets, and the caliber of the ammunition determines its lethality. A school shooting has countless working parts the length at which the shooter will go to force entry. The speed of the response and the caliber of the security system determines its lethality. The, the Senate, Senate has 100 working parts. parts. The size of the majority, the length of their terms, and the caliber of the lobbyists determine its productivity. The size of the child at the time of its death determines the length of the coffin. A coffin is a chamber lined with silk and sorrow. And when that lid clicks shut, it cannot be reopened. Oh, pirates, yes, they rob I. Sold I to merchant ships. Minutes after they took I. From the bottom of the spit, my head. 
by the hands the Almighty. We forward in this generation, triumphantly. Won't you help to sing these songs of freedom? Is all I ever had redemption song. Emancipate yourselves in mental slavery. No, but ourselves can free our minds. Have no fear for atomic energy. Cause none of us can stop the time. How long will they kill our prophets while we stand aside and look? Ooh, some say it's just a part of it. We've got to fulfill the book. Won't you help to sing these songs of freedom? Is all I Redemption song, redemption song. Today we march for the 17 lost in Parkland, Florida. Today we march for the 15 dead in Columbine. Today we march for the 27 dead at Sandy Hook Elementary School. Today we march for all the families across this nation who have lost their children to gun violence. Today we march because we are not safe in our communities, and in our schools. Today we march because other brave students have taken a stand. And today we march because enough is enough! Come senators, congressmen, please heed the call. Don't stand in the doorway, don't block up the hall For he who gets hurt will be he who has stalled There's a battle outside and it's raging It'll soon shake your windows and rattle your walls Oh, the times they are changing and fathers throughout the land And don't criticize what you can't understand The mothers and your daughters are beyond your command The old road is rapidly aging So get out the new one if you can't lend a hand Oh, the times they are changing It is drawn, the curse it is cast The slow one now will later be fast To the present now will later be past The order is rapidly fading Oh, the loser will now be later to win Oh, the times they are changed The times they are changing, the times they are changing. Thank you. 
Oh,